Welcome C second Cape candidates. This is the Anime Chem Tutor. In this first C sec series, we look at the particulate theory of matter using some widely known examples. Did you know that the largest stars in the universe and the smallest object here on Earth have one thing in common? They are made up of particles, very tiny particles. Because of these tiny particles, matter can arrange themselves in what we call states. These rearrangements of matter are heavily dependent on temperature changes. Let us list the particulate theory of matter. All matter are made up of tiny particles. A substance in its pure form has its own unique or specific particles. Particles are attracted to each other. Particles are always in motion. And finally, particles at a higher temperature move about faster than particles at a lower temperature. Now, let us analyze this popular experiment. It involves the reaction with ammonia and hydrochloric acid. From that, we can determine if there are any agreements with the particulate theory of matter. Both the ammonia and the hydrochloric acid solutions are placed simultaneously in a transparent glass tube. After a few minutes, we can observe the gaseous particles moving towards each other. This is done by diffusion. So, based on that, can we all agree with the theory that particles are always in motion? Taking a more in-depth approach with the reaction between ammonia and hydrochloric acid revealed that it was the cationic particles of ammonia that migrated towards the anionic particles of chlorine. An attraction ensued from their interactions resulted to the production of ammonium chloride, a white solid stained on the side of the glass tube. This also supports the theory that particles are attracted to each other. Another experiment that highlights and supports the particulate theory of matter has to do with the dissolution of potassium permanganate crystals in water. Label two beakers A and B respectively. Have them standing beside each other. To beaker A, add some room temperature water and to beaker B, carefully add some hot water. Now, to each beaker, add equally weighed portions of the potassium permanganate crystals. Then wait a few minutes and observe. Did you realize how quickly the solution in beaker B changed color? Especially when compared to beaker A. Hmm. Well, according to the particulate theory of matter, particles at higher temperature will move about faster than particles at lower temperature. Thank you for watching and see you next time.